when confronted by a left-wing podcaster's claim that Donald Trump would disregard the Constitution. Vivek Ramaswamy swiftly redirected the conversation towards those who criticize Trump, suggesting they are merely projecting their own intentions onto him. What's your response? To what, what, say, say that again. And one of the attacks against Trump is commonly he wouldn't uphold the Constitution. What's your response to that? My response to that is that's a lot of projection from the people who are making the accusations. Because the reality is, the termination of the Constitution. He did not call for the termination. A massive fraud of this type actually allows the termination. He did not call regulation. Cite, 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 cite for me one time where Donald Trump called for the termination of the Constitution. I'm reading it right now. He's never, he's never called for the termination of the Constitution. Massive fraud of this type. But here's, here's what I believe. I'm going to answer this question before I go to the next interview. I'll cite for it. What I do believe is there's the projection of the people who do call for the termination of the Constitution and their behaviors want to take the decisions away from the voters, try to same eliminate presidential the candidates from ballot box. The Trump same people who are eliminated. Tried to block the you, know what, you know what our founding fathers believe and the people who framed our Trump Constitution believe? Power? They believe that we, the people, get to decide who actually runs the country. And not to be able, not to be able, to, not to be able power, to have right? them. Look, I, I, I think that if you're a reporter, you're interested in questions. If you're an activist, you're allowed to be an activist. I think that's allowed. So I wish you well on your journey as an activist, but if you're interested in actually being a reporter, go to the heart of the facts of what each candidate has done and what they've said. And never in American history have we seen the wielding of prosecutorial power to try to eliminate a candidate in the middle of an election while you had extrajudicial means of removing them we from the ballot. That, and that's an insult. So that's the question before that's you head out. We hold the Constitution in the highest regard and see defending it as our paramount duty. Vivek Ramaswamy's stance is rooted in a staunch defense of the Constitution embodying the essence of conservative values. His rebuttal to the accusation against Trump aligns with his commitment to constitutional fidelity and the rule of law. Ramaswamy's assertion that Trump's critics are actually the ones undermining the Constitution is a strategic maneuver often employed by conservatives. It flips the script, suggesting that the true threat lies with the accusers. This tactic highlights what he views as the left's cunning and hypocrisy. Ramaswamy underscores the significance of voter choice and sovereignty, emphasizing we the people's role in the democratic process and expressing a deep skepticism towards elitist interference. His criticism of the misuse of prosecutorial power to sway elections resonates with concerns about government overreach and the integrity of the electoral process.